Hey, Magic friends, back again for some more woo. Wilds of Eldraine, W-O-E, set boxes. So, I'm, uh, I'm on the fence. If you've watched the videos, you know it's been a little interesting opening this box. Oh, God, sorry, table, it's junk in the way, damn it. I got so much crap floating around here from all these box openings. Uh, I'm glad I get it all cleaned off. So, yay, a list card. Um, hello, Ristic Study, coming in out of the gate, hot. Very nice. More Mythics? Nope. So we get a Ristic Study. More Mythics. We got an Agatha. Two Mythic Pack. Very nice. That is one hell of a way to start a video. Sweet Jesus. That was, uh, yeah. That was the thing in the stuff. Anyway. As you know, I'm kind of torn a little bit with the anime art. Um, on whether or not I like it, and we're going to have to wait and find out. Because there's some interesting things going on inside these boxes when we do these openings. Um, so yeah, before I go any further though, and talk about what those strange things are, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Helps keep it sponsor free, that way I don't have to stop in the middle of any of this nonsense and pad in 10 minutes, pad you, give you five minutes of content with five minutes of advertisement for a silly crap that you're not going to listen to me about, like what you should be eating or what earbuds you put in your ear holes. Because um, I honestly don't know, to be honest with you. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, why would I lie to you? Anyhow, I mean, I could do sponsors if that's what you're into. Mm, oh, look at that. That is some good art and a good signature. Kudos to you. So, uh, Brain Weevil. Interesting. So, don't forget, uh, once you have subscribed, links in the links to the eBay store, TCG player, all kinds of good stuff in there. Helps support the channel. Um, so, back to my conspiracy theory. Break out the tin foil hat. Um, I've talked about box mapping and all that, and it can be very easy to be negative about a box if you hit the bad boxes first, if the cases are mapped like I've so said. So I'm beginning to think that maybe, just maybe, I jumped the gun on the first box. Because we have had a couple bangers right after that first box um, that are pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Now, that said, these often start bad, but we've already got a Ristic Study. Um, so do you have to start good? Like, there's an unnatural growth foil. That's not the worst thing in the world. Um, so, yeah. We're going to wait and see once it's all said and done. One thing I have noticed, I think it's very weird about this is we don't get very many foil full art lands in set boosters, which is fine, I guess. Um, nice, Mythic Lumber 3. Um, I would like to see more of those full art lands kind of be in here. But maybe the way they've got it set up is because normally we get a lot of foil uh, basic lands. And when you do collector boosters, oh, ho, ho, look at that. Virtue of Strength Foil Mythic. Hello. Very nice. Put that little boy right there. Mythic number four. Um, anyway, like I was saying, um, we get a lot of the foil basic lands uh, in the set boosters, and when you do collector boosters, you always get a full art land, and it's always foil. So maybe that is the right way to go, and the reason that they're doing it that way uh, but me personally, here's another mythic. It's Corvold. Look at that little fellow. Um, I just want the full arts. Like, I mean, you can stop doing those. I mean, it does cost money, right? Like, you're paying somebody to draw those lands. Um, is it really necessary? I mean, you want to cut costs and make more money. How about you do less art? 
Like, that seems like a thing to me. Um, and some of the easiest places to cut it would be there. Uh, and just use your old art. Reprint all the old nostalgic art that you still have license to or whatever without making new art if you want to make these basic lands. Um, like, can, can that be a thing, maybe? Like, am I out of my zone here or something? I don't know. I mean, that's just me, though, so... Interesting sign. Vincent. Vincent. He's French. Um, but yeah, so... I don't know. I think there's ways they could save some stuff. Save a little money with less art. What have you. And also solve the problem of, you know, printing everything to oblivion and having so much of everything that nothing is special. So... But if that's what they want to do, I mean, they're accomplishing it well. Um, I mean, I don't know how else to phrase that other than just the web, like I just did. They are accomplishing, making everything not worth a lot of money. So. But I think what's really going to happen is moving forward... We're going to see more of a shift to uh, universes beyond kind of style because Lord of the Rings just did way too well. I mean, I'm happy it did well. I'm not sad that it didn't. But with 40k, that, if, if Doctor Who does well, hey, look at that. It's technically a mythic. Uh, this is the list slot. Uh, Walking Dead, um, in case you didn't know, is what's being reprinted in this set. So these are Walking Dead cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, only six. Okay. Only six. Anyway. Forgot where I was going with that. But anyway. Just is what it is. That is that's some cool art. And I, I think one thing I'd like to see is making foils special again. I mean, I remember when foils were so hard to get and everybody was really upset about it. But now they're so easy to get that a lot of them aren't really worth a whole lot. And I'm not sure I like that either. Another Rowan. Um, because foils are obviously a chase card. Um, and the good foils are real chase cards. So why not make them even a little more harder to get? Oh my god. Oh gosh. Just the parallel lives. Or defense of the heart. Man. Signed and everything. Uh, I mean, at what worse, like, cut down the number of foils you get in, like, everything else. And just leave, leave collector boosters the way they are. To make them more desirable by not giving a bunch of foils uh, in the other product. Now, with that being said, nice. Um... You know, you do have your own special foils and collector boosters, and I think those should stay too. That way, everything has a little bit of something worth some value, right? Or maybe take the possibilities of foils, like, really out of draft boosters. Dwarven Giant. That means he's a whole six foot tall. Anyway, um... Oh. Love this art. Mythic number eight. Nice hit. So, but yeah. That's my personal opinion. I mean, tell me down below what you think might make it feel better to open the packs. Ooh. Oh, uh, he's from Commander. I mean, he's a mythic foil, though. Um, is he? <laughs> he's already warped. Look at that. Uh, good old quality wizards. Anyway. Um... Yeah, tell me down below what you think. Well, what changes would you like to see, like, to have scarce cards but still have it cheap? Like, I mean, I, I want it be cheap enough people to play, right? But at the same time, that doesn't mean that, like, everybody has a foil. Like, that's the whole point of collecting. Uh, and the point of trading. Like, there's not a lot of trade fodder or trading going on. Man, I really miss the days when... Um, hey, it's Jared. 
from Subway. Anyway, um, where you could go and I think number ten do some good trades and stuff. I mean, you still can, but like, there's just so much variety. I don't know. It just feels different. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's because I'm older. I don't know. Ooh. Mythic number 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, 11. So two packs left. 12 is the record. I wonder if we can get there. No, not like that we can't. So we're still one away from tying the record with one pack to go. Can we hit the trifecta of mythic hits in this pack? No, we cannot because that doesn't start it. Hit it. No. Hit it. Oh. Oh, someone's calling my computer. Um, yep, 11 mythics only. But we got some good ones. Um, honestly, though, the box kind of feels mediocre at best. We'll have to wait and see. Um, there are some good cards in there, not going to lie. But you got to remember, these are set boosters, a little higher price. So, till next time, be kind. Hope to see you across from the game table. Later, player. Subscribe. And, God. It smells like cardboard in here. I love it.